You may recall this video from last week where four young men followed four police officers out of their building, yelling obscenities at the cops the whole time. The video got widely viewed worldwide, in part because the police didn't take action against the people taunting them. Some viewers felt that the young people cursing out the cops were engaged in disorderly conduct, which could have gotten them arrested. But now, a week and a half later... I called my grandma, for me, my grandma used to be a cop, called her, and I went in to turn myself in. He's one of the four people who'd been on the video. We're not showing him because he's a minor. He said that he'd been taken into custody this week for a crime, and so had his brother. My twin locked up right now. I feel bad for him, you know what I mean? Both, according to them and anonymous law enforcement sources who spoke to print media, had been arrested as juveniles for robbery. And today, two officers were on a call at the young man's building. His reaction to them is another reason we're not showing his face. Eat my Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a sec. I, I don't want to escalate a situation here. Why did you feel a need to do that? Because they gave me tight wrote to my mother. She was just mind I don't care, care bro. Real. And they beat me up before. No, I don't care. I don't care, bro. One of his neighbors said he's not alone in his resentment and the growing tension between the police and many in the neighborhood. Cops be doing too much. They take everything they power for granted. They think they can do whatever they want, whenever they want. That's why. Now, this is a touchy situation, and like most situations, it is not night and day. There's a lot of gray area here. You'll note that that young man we talked with, his grandmother, he says, is a retired police officer. Look. The NYPD has said throughout this that their officers are showing appropriate restraint. The Sergeant's Benevolent Association, the Sergeant's Union for the NYPD, says they want the NYPD to do more to encourage officers to make arrests in situations like this. What we do know is this is an ongoing situation that we'll probably be reporting on further in the months to come. Right now, outside the 40th Precinct in the South Bronx, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News. Yeah, I